Good morning, citizens of the world. My name is Da Vinci Jeremy, and my channel is here is dedicated to a very important topic of savings because, well, everyone needs to know how to save and invest. Today, we're going to be talking about gold, and it is about to rocket to fifty thousand dollars. I know that's whoa, crazy, right? But as you know, the dollar is going to collapse. I mean, come on, get real here. Uh, we're going to be going back to a gold standard and um, we're going to compare a Bitcoin standard and a gold standard. Then we're going to go on to TA and uh, questions and answers for the day. All right. Is gold about to rocket to $50,000? Well, I mean, you can, uh, we know that gold is and silver are money, right? And nothing else. Everything else is just credit. You'd know that because it's just a piece of paper, right? Or a digital marker inside the bank, your current money. And, you know, we know this because, I mean, everyone who's watching here, right, uh, know that the banks are buying gold. They don't buy diamonds, right? They don't buy uh, silver, they don't buy oil because there's a lot of oil that is out there that they can like store away, right? Uh, no, they've been, um, as you know, been buying gold, right? For uh, since 2009, they've been net buyers of gold. They used to be selling gold. Now they're buying it, as you can see in the chart here. And um, and so obviously they're doing it for some reason, right? And I know that the bank, uh, the, ba the chairman, uh, all the bankers, uh, they've been asked many times, right? Why do central banks hold it? Like, why? Why not uh, they hold diamonds? Well, it's tradition. <laughs> if any of you want to tell me that uh, central bankers are holding or buying gold based on tradition, you need to take a walk, man. You just, you, you just, just, Unsubscribe from my channel right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we, you, you, you have to know that the dollar is going to collapse at this point. Why is that? Well, I mean, they're making it rain, right? I mean, it's just nonstop. They started off, they've already, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, fe the, what's the, the federal government is, uh, you know, already 3.8 trillion and they're going to do another 3 trillion in debt, right, for just this year alone as additional spending, not on top of what they normally do. <laughs> right, so they're, they're going to make it rain, make it rain to the infinity and beyond, right? And so, yeah, I mean, it's clear. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. I mean, you could ask anybody. What happens if the government prints too much money? Well, it'll be worthless, right? I mean, everybody knows this, right? And that's that's their objective, right? So, so you you have to prepare for that, and you know that gold is money, right? And I mean, think about it, right? If you were to um, put gold into the ground and wait five thousand years, and uh, and dollars into the ground as well, and wait five thousand years, which one would be worth more? You'd know the dollars would be like turned to dust or would be nothing, right? To be like, get out of here with that crap, right? It's worthless, right? But you know the gold will always buy the same amount of food, the same amount of uh, sh shelter, the same amount of everything you need to survive, right? Whilst the paper money is worthless. So it's clear that you know that gold is money, right? So uh, why aren't we going to go to a Bitcoin standard? Why, why are we going to go to a gold standard? Well. Because gold has a 5,000 year history, right? I mean, you can see when you dig up for, uh, old gold coins, they still have value, right? So we know that gold will maintain its value for a long time, right? And, and um, central bankers, they know this too, and they've been holding the gold, right? So the, eventually, once they, um, once they realize that they can't um, scam us anymore and they can't print any more money and they must uh, um, be fiscally responsible for, for once, um, they're going to have to uh, back up all that digital currency with gold. And when they do that, 
the price of gold is going to be a lot more in the new currency than than um, than than you expect, basically. So why not? So when will we have a Bitcoin standard? When will we go to a Bitcoin standard? Well, basically, you as an individual will force the bankers to go to a Bitcoin standard because they're going to definitely go to a gold standard because at least with the gold standard, they can actually take away the gold. <laughs> but with a Bitcoin standard, they can't really do that because you could directly take ownership of your Bitcoins. And so as long as you run a business and do things in Bitcoins, you will create the Bitcoin standard. So basically start earning money and saying, hey, you know what? Um, uh, in this environment where there's not many jobs and stuff like that, uh, start asking online, looking for a job online, asking people, hey, listen, can I help you out and I'll pay me in Bitcoin? And you, since you're watching this channel and many, probably other, many other channels, you should be asking every single um, uh, uh, channel, um, every single person who runs a, a Bitcoin channel. Hey, is there anything I can do to help you? Uh, and you could pay me in Bitcoin. Uh, and then this, that's you're on your way to earning money in Bitcoin, saving in Bitcoin and working for Bitcoin. And this will create an economy in Bitcoin because only us can do that not the central banks. You cannot expect government to do that because they, they have no incentive to do that at all. All right, now let's let's go on to a TA um, for today. Uh, right now, today, as you know, I did, I don't know if you were watching the, 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 um, the show from uh, yesterday at on um, MM Crypto, but... Um, we created a nice W and you can see this W information happening here. And now we're in the decision moment time right now between this, these two points. You can see we're, we came close to breaking it and then, you know, uh, we broke up here and now obviously we just created a, another Darth Maul pattern, right? Within this uh, Doji pattern. I mean, it's just disgusting. I mean, they wiped out the the, um, the longs, wiped out the shorts, right? Uh, I, and just now we're still in the, the decision mode, which way we're going to go. Um, so far, right, we're still leaning towards the downside. Um, if we go to a four hour chart, let's head over here. I had this trade here open up in our group, right? We were, st we're Some people are still in it right now. Um, don't know which way this is going to go. This is this is um, this looks like it wants to roll over and, and break our trade based on these Davo indicators. It looks like it's going to come down all the way to 9200. Um, so who knows? Who knows? We're, we're going to stick. I'm going to uh, I'm going to have my uh, everybody's going to stick with this trade here and see what happens. And if it, if it breaks, it breaks. If it goes higher, it goes higher and let it go. So you, this is indecision time. So we don't know which way it's going to go. Um, it could easily break down. It could easily go higher. So let's let's see what happens, basically. All righty. With that said, let's head over to uh, the, the T and A. I mean, the questions and answers for today. And before we get on to the questions and answers, please click the, the like and subscribe button and uh, click the more button. If you want to check out a special video that I did only for library.tv uh, subscribers, talking about my days uh, as, a ch as, a, as a teenager when I sold chocolates. For, and it's, it's a hilarious story. You're gonna be rolling on the floor with laughter. It's just a great story. So please check that out. If you're interested, uh, it's only available on, at library uh, on my channel on library. So, okay. With that said, off to the questions and answers. And just remember, leave your questions uh, that you want me to answer in the comment section below. All right, Demix Da Vinci, what is your opinion on the length of the BTC cycle? Does it does the cycles get longer? Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems to be getting longer. Uh, I think it'll definitely, uh, as the as we progress into the future, the cycles will definitely get longer because then the, the amount of uh, my, uh, of Bitcoins being mining 
uh, and coming into the economy will become pretty much uh, irrelevant. So uh, the, the cycles will, will dissipate into uh, the normal 17 year cycles that we have in the, the market. But that's going to be a, probably another what um, generation away before we actually get into that. All right. Um, Rolls Costa. Da Vinci, if you have a thousand dollars to buy cryptos, would you put it into BTC or Ethereum? You you don't think Ethereum have a bigger chance to reach 300% before BTC? No, I don't. I think um, like all altcoins, they will rally. It will rally. But probably after, most likely after, Bitcoin makes an all-time new high, and then once Bitcoin does, it's hundred x, uh, uh, probably yeah, about a thousand x probably. Then you'll see um, uh, uh, the rest of the coins do their uh, their magic and go to the same amount or even more. Maybe I think uh, Ethereum might even do even more than uh, Bitcoin. But we will see. We will see. All right. Well, thank you guys for the questions. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate everybody watching today's show. And I hope you enjoyed it. And you know what? I'm really happy about Bitcoin because finally, with Bitcoin, I could save for a time and know that I will be able to buy more. Thus, my labor has been preserved. Thank you.